the post-millennial video, Tucker Carlson warns of the collapse. Play it for me. And we should be honest that ESG and equity are only part of the problem here. Stupidity is a huge part of the problem. SVB and FTX, for that matter, are just two of several major players in the financial industry that have gone under in recent months. Are you noticing any of this? There was the bank Silvergate, more than 11 billion in assets. There was the crypto broker Voyager, a billion in assets. The crypto fund 3AC, 10 billion in assets. BlockFi and a number of others. On Friday, Wells Fargo customers reported they didn't get their paychecks as expected. The bank says that was just a computer glitch. We don't really know, but we're paying attention. What is very clear is that we're witnessing something serious happening in the finance sector and in other sectors of our economy. We don't know where any of this is going. We're certainly praying for the best. We don't want to see hysteria. But if you're the Treasury Secretary of the United States, you would be very concerned. You'd be paying really close attention because that's your job. But Jenny Ellen is not paying close attention. She's not worried about it because it's in this country. She's worried instead about funding the pensions of Ukrainian government workers. She flew to Kiev the other day to tell us that. And as always, Janet Yellen is highly focused on her core duties as Treasury Secretary. That would be equity, climate change, and abortion. The Biden-Harris administration has made racial equity a centerpiece of our economic agenda. Roe v. Wade in access to reproductive health care, including abortion, helped lead to increased labor force participation. President Biden, uh, and I feel the same way too, believe that climate change is an existential threat that absolutely must be addressed. The message I bring you from President Biden is simple. America will, will stand with Ukraine for as long as it takes. Okay, so she's very upset about Ukraine and we don't have enough abortions and equity, equity, abortion, Ukraine. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, so there you go. Now, as what happened in Palestine, Ohio, where you had the EPA director, Michael Regan, flying in. The, now, this is after the Palestine, Ohio derailment, where they did a control release and formed the, the biggest uh, mushroom cloud in American history outside of nuclear experimentation ever formed in the United States. He was off in uh, Africa on a climate change tour after the explosion, after his approved control release. Then you have now Janet Yellen, where you have the, the second biggest bank closure in history, second biggest in history, largest since 2008. She is over in Kiev fighting for equity, climate hoaxing and abortion, and of course funding the war in Ukraine. Now, what we what we need to recognize about all of this is one thing that Tucker said about stupidity. Never underestimate stupidity. Now let me go through these. Let me go through these names. E, uh, SV SVB, which is Silicon Valley Bank, that's closed. Second biggest bank closure in history. FTX is closed. Silvergate, eleven billion dollars in assets is closed. Voyager, one billion dollars in assets is closed. Three Arrows Capital. Uh, that's $10 billion has closed. BlockFly has closed, and many other ha have collapsed. And yesterday, J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America all lost $50 billion in market value. And Joe Biden says this is the greatest economy in American history. Now, I wish that I could talk in a more educated fashion about the banking system, but I really have no knowledge of it. But you are definitely not having the greatest economy in, in American history, the greatest bounce back in American history as Joe Biden is espousing when you have banks closing. So look at this next one, Matt Brainerd tweet. Why is all the focus on SVB's failure of losing all their investments and not on the accomplishments? So why is everybody focusing on SVB's closing has now been taken over by the federal government. Why is everybody focusing on that and not on the accomplishment of having the only female investment committee in the banking history? And again, this goes back to Janet Yellen. Leave this up for me, Will. Well, what does the Treasury Secretary have to do with Ukraine? What does the Treasury Secretary have to do with abortion or DEI or CRT? What does the Treasury Secretary have to do with the client with climate change? And once again, why is everybody focusing on the second largest bank closure in history when that second largest bank closure in history had all these women in charge? I mean, why would you care when you've got equity there? 
when you've got uh, Bryn in charge and Karen in charge and Shannon in charge and Jenny in charge overseeing the second largest bank closure in history. But women were in charge, so therefore the closure and the absolute ineptitude can be overlooked because the the proper equity boxes can be checked. Not enough equity boxes, by the way, because I don't know how many of them are lesbian. None of them are black and none of them are transgender. So that's probably, I bet you right now that if SVB had, if you, in this picture we're seeing now, two transgender men, well, they're, 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 they're called transgender women by the globalist left, but they are transgender men. If you had two men cross-dressing as women in this picture, uh, two of them and three out of four of the, these women and men were gay and then of course mix in a couple people of color then the, I'm sure that since equity and inclusion DEI is so diversity equity and inclusion I'm sure since that's so important the bank would still be open right it's exactly the opposite focusing on DEI and CRT closes your bank because you know what you're supposed to be counting uh, concentrating on not skin color not, not, not who's having sex with who, not equity, which you're supposed to be concentrating on, is interest rates, which sunk this bank. 